Okay, so here's my BoxyCharm box and I'm so excited. I actually have like my foundation and concealer on so we're ready to go. I did peek in to see what I got in the box so that we can do this whole try on thing with BoxyCharm stuff. So we did get a card which looks like this super pretty it looks very zen and relaxing like spa like and the theme is the oasis i have variation number 44 and i have a feeling i'm boxy twins with another youtube friend of mine her name is everything proof beauty so if you want to see her unboxing you can go over there so let's go ahead and start with the two skincare items that i got the first one is the Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovery Cream. I already know about this product and I'm not gonna open it because I still have a lot of like skincare products open. If you wanna know more about this product, check out my empties videos. I believe it's my empties videos or my skincare videos. I'll post the video up here on the cards or at the end of this video if you wanna check that out. But I talk about this hydrobiotic um, recovery sleeping mask. I love this product. I've only gotten a sample and I've used it up. And before the whole quarantine started, I was gonna have like a treat to myself, like a Dr. Brandt facial at Ulta and they had a deal um, I can't remember what the deal is anymore, but I think the facial is free if you purchase something like this. Of course, the deal is probably no longer active at this point. It's been so long, but my plan was to buy this full size and now I finally have it. Dr. Brand is an expensive brand. Let me show it to you guys up close. It's 1.7 ounces and the Dr. Brandt, according to BoxyCharm, costs $52. I'm so happy that I got this. The other skincare item that I got from BoxyCharm is from Tula Skincare and I was so glad that I got this. This is actually one of their choice items. Um, so with BoxyCharm, it is a $25 a month subscription box and you get to choose one item that's guaranteed to be in your box and this was it. Tula has my most favorite cleanser. There's something about their probiotic ingredient that I really enjoy and this is a glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm. I've never used an eye balm before but I think it's time for me to use it and oh that's interesting. I, I don't know what to do with that little bottle here. Am I supposed to take Okay, so I took out the cap, and this is what it looks like right here. It's blue, and I'm not gonna try it on my eyes because I already have concealer and foundation on. It has a scent to it. It has that signature scent that I'm very familiar with from the Tula cleanser that I used. It glides on easily. I think this is perfect for more mature eyes, especially when you have dry eyes, when you have problems with creasing, when you put on your concealer, you wanna put this on first as a primer. And I think that the concealer will sit a lot better on your skin with this eye balm. This eye balm from Tula is $28. It delivers a lit from within glow while instantly hydrating, cooling, and filling in fine lines around the eyes. You'll feel awake with this eye balm and look refreshed and energized so you can glow and get it. Wow, this one says that you can use it under or over your makeup, which is insane because it has kind of like a glossy wet feel to it. So I feel like, you know, that would really disrupt your makeup. I'm so scared to put it on top of my concealer. I feel like they're all gonna start looking chunky and crunchy. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna pause and give you guys an update or a review on this for next time. The next item that I got is from Laura Geller. You can find Laura Geller at Ulta, I believe. And this is actually gonna be my first product from them. It's a multitasking eye, lip, cheek palette. 
So that's interesting. And it's a cream to powder trio. I don't use a lot of cream to powder because, um, you know, I have oily skin. I like to use mostly powder products. So it looks like this could be your blush. It says gold dust, coconut grove could be your bronzer, and the Tuscan coral as your highlighter. I think I got it backwards. This should be gold dust, chocolate grove, and then Tuscan coral. I am the worst YouTuber when it comes to swatching. Okay, can you guys see that now? So it looks like the highlighter has a very subtle glow. I'm not sure what brush to use when it comes to like creams actually. I'll try my duo fiber brush to see if we can get that to show up. It feels very lightweight. I'm not seeing it too too much on my skin tone. I think this would be better for lighter skin tones. I'm not seeing it really well in person. Is it showing up? Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, I'm starting to see it, but it's a little kind of orange for me. I'm gonna use the same duo fiber brush, and this is by Sigma F55. And I will use this one next, this shade. I've been seeing a lot of complaints with BoxyCharm having some repeats. I've actually seen one of the items here in their Lux box. So that's interesting. I didn't know you could have the same um, products in both base boxes and Lux boxes because you know you pay so much more with Lux. So yeah, a lot of people are really considering canceling BoxyCharm. And I know in the title I said, you know, am I gonna cancel? And I do love BoxyCharm though, and for the price, I've been really, really satisfied with the boxes that I've been getting. But if um, I were to cancel BoxyCharm, it's not because I'm super not satisfied with their boxes, but it's more because of personal reasons for me, which I don't know if I wanna talk about it here. So, I don't like this blush as much on me. It looks a little patchy actually. Like it's not looking smooth to me. And I feel like it's accentuating the texture on my cheeks, which that's never really been a problem for me. Let's go ahead and try the highlighter right here. And I'm using my highlighter brush from Morphe F36. It's, it's definitely showing up on my skin. I think you guys can see that on camera. Swatching it kind of looked a little bit more subtle on the skin. So, let me see if you guys can see that. I'm just seeing a lot of texture on my skin. Let me try to put some on the bridge of my nose and see how that goes. know if it's shiny because it's wet or if it's shiny because it actually has that highlighting quality so maybe I'll give it a chance to dry and see how it goes but this Laura Geller is $24 this one is kind of just a meh for me I got the touch and soul fill up orange palette I keep telling myself that when boxycharm provides a palette I'm not gonna keep it regardless of what it is because I do have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and you know I am really planning for my 400 subscriber giveaway I don't know if I want to do that or get to 500 um, I think I want to do 500 subscriber giveaway and make it really big and so I said that whatever palette I get from boxycharm I'm gonna put it in my giveaway box but when I saw this <laughs> And the packaging, I just couldn't let it go. I think um, that's what happens when you're a makeup lover. Like you love all things makeup. And this kind of reminds me of just fruity, like summer. And I feel like I want to keep something that reminds me of BoxyCharm. And I feel like palettes are like 
the main thing. And then when I opened it up, of course, I saw this glitter right here, this orange glitter, and I want it all over my eye. So let's go ahead and just swatch it real quick. the big orange oh okay wow super blingy but super like chunky and dry um let's just put it here you know for a little bit of glitter I don't know if you guys can see that who says you have to put everything on your eyes right I don't have glitter glue, so I'm not gonna trust this to go on my eyes right now. It's gonna be fallout central right here if I don't have glitter glue, so I'm gonna pass on that. Let me put some eye primer real quick. I'm just using my Mac Paint Pot. Yesterday, I had a small accident. My daughter pretty much shut the shower door on my face. I was in the process of giving her a bath and I turned to do something and when I turned back into the shower, she was closing the door at the same time and it just went, you know, bam on my eyes right here. For right now, it's just very sore. My eyeballs feel sore. I don't think there's any major damage. I'm already thinking that when I apply eyeshadow, it's gonna hurt because I was hit right around here. Yeah, let's get started. All right, I think that's it. I'm gonna put some mascara on and then come back and open the rest of the box. Okay, so I have my lashes on and my mascara and everything. And now we are ready for the last item in my BoxyCharm box, which is this Bew Beauty Vault. And they are a trio of eyeliners. Not eyeliners, lip liners. So you get three lip liners in here. So they're all very pretty and wearable colors, it looks like. I wanna keep only one. So I'm gonna save this red one, kind of the reddish one, for a giveaway. And between the two, oh, I wanna keep both colors. You got the brown lip liner and kind of like a mauve pink uh, lip liner. I think I'm gonna keep the brown because I get the most use out of brown lip liners. This is what it looks like. I don't wanna open the other two because I feel like I might nick off the tip. <laughs> and I wanna make sure that I save it for the giveaway. So let's go ahead and try the lip liner. I'm excited. I've never heard of this brand before actually.
That's the lip liner. I think it looks very pretty. It goes really well with this look and I definitely love it. Love all sorts of lip colors, but my favorite are the ones that has a brown undertone. So I think I am going to get a lot of use out of it. And then this one, I'm gonna save it for my 400 or 500 subscriber giveaway. So I hope you guys, you know, subscribe, join the family, bring your friends over to this channel and just, you know, hang out and enjoy all things beauty. Let's go ahead and calculate the overall value of the box. So remember, I only paid $25 for this entire box. Touch and Soul. Philip Orange Palette. That was $32. The Laura Geller Multitasking Cream to Powder Trio was $24. The Tula Skin Care was $28. The Dr. Brandt was $52, which I'm very happy about. On my card, it says Douche Fierce and Fine Graphic Pen and their eyeliners, but I actually got lip liners let me double check the box i got the wrong info on my card you know boxy charm i think with all the quarantine they're kind of dropping the ball a little bit sometimes you get a card in your box sometimes you don't and there's no explanation as to why it's just very random so okay so i will total this up and put the total here on my screen i do have to look up this Bew Lip Liner Trio, so we'll see. The price of the box is definitely worth it already alone for me when it comes to the two skincares that I received, the Tula and Dr. Brand, because I only paid $25 for the box. Um, unfortunately, out of the three makeup products that I got, the only one that was a go for me were these lip liners. They're very creamy, they applied nicely. They're not drying. I mean, just the formula is great, high quality for sure. The Laura Geller one was an interesting concept, but I didn't like the formula. The pigmentation wasn't there, especially for people like myself who have darker skin tones. It just shows all the texture on my face, the color isn't there, and I had to build it up and build it up to even get any type of color. So, not my favorite. The Fill Up Orange, all. Oh, the quality isn't there guys the only thing that i like is the glitter which i could use for my body so i don't mind it um i'm looking like an orange creamsicle though <laughs> these were so hard to blend this is the only color that worked out for me this color was nice all the other ones were just they all blended the same and looked the same this one was so patchy it just every time i applied more it kept erasing itself and I don't know what's the deal with this big giant pot because there is no color in this. <laughs> want, want for this. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this BoxyCharm unboxing slash try on. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you're new here, I post videos once a week on beauty and skincare reviews as well as some unboxings here and there. Definitely stick around. I think there's always something to learn here on my channel. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll definitely see you guys back in my corner soon. Bye!